So, I have another piece of stereo equipment I'd like to show you guys. It's a, um, I believe it's a Zenith Allegro 2000. That's what the speakers say. I really can't find a, well, integrated stereo system right there, but I really can't find a specific, um, name for your, I mean, I think the model number's on the back, but I'm not going to take it all out to do that. So, as you can probably tell, it's a record player, and if you don't know what that is, it's an 8-track player, and, oh, and recorder, like I said in the last video. Um, you got your volume knob, balance, bass, treble, and, uh, all your selection, or function, your function knob, and your power on and off. And this has some pretty big speakers over here. They're pretty nice. I don't know if you can see that. Better, that's a little better. All right. Um. So let's see. I'm gonna turn on the radio. Hopefully, I don't get copyright striked because that would be bad. Uh, let's turn it on. Turn it down a little bit. I don't want. On the fleas out of Gilboa, the Gorilla Girl, and to sell bootleg cigarettes from the back of the ring toss game. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's got a stereo light. Let me turn it down a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying to scan through all of them. I don't want to stop one station. I know I'm going to get copyright strikes. YouTube will get the panties in the wad. And then you got AM. Nothing really is on AM anymore, sadly, but, well. This might just not have the best antenna on it for AM. I might need to get a new one. Oh, it's also got a um, tuning dial. Kind of like a, I believe it was the Magic Eye Tube were like that too. All right. So let's go to the next selection, which will be Phono, which is Phonograph. And I will show you a little bit of my record. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, let's do Phono. Um, let's see, should I play? Ugh. Um, a lot of my records are pretty old, actually. Um, don't want to play anything. Uh, uh, and maybe in another video, I'll show you some of my record collections and stuff, but... Let me see. Um, let me just pick something that's less likely to be a copyright strike, but still kind of sounds cool in the 80s. Uh, Kenny G. G-Force. Um, here, let me just set the camera down. Oh, I, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. It's really not that important, but I, I just have a nag for laying the camera down and you not be able to see what's going on. All right. Gently pull it out. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Um, that's, I just moved my clock, so I know what time it is. Um... <clears throat> All right, you know, simple inside. Uh, it's a little bit dusty, but I can fix that. All right, I'm currently putting it on the record player. Phonograph, whatever you want to call it. This lid comes down and it takes a lot of the treble sound out of the record. Now, um, I'm actually going to drop the record down real quick and turn it to on, not to start or auto. I just want to clean this record. This is just a dry cleaning. It's one of those, like, special record cleaners. Alright, there we go. And 
I really like record changers. Th this is technically a record changer, not just a record player. Hold on. Uh, you gotta put it on that little notch right there. Now, some people like the uh, metal ones better because they're high quality, and that is true. But the plastic ones, I think, do a little bit less damage to your record because they're it's plastic on plastic, not plastic on metal. Because records are plastic. All right, so here we go. Um, let me make sure you have to have it all set at the right settings over there. Uh, I might go into greater detail on one of these eventually, but probably not. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I was requested. Let me just sit back and listen. Turn my volume up a little bit. It's all automatic. Better than any retarded Crosley. And you can do it manually too, if you want. Return it to... Wait, where is it? Nope, hold on. One of my favorite songs by Kennedy. Is So, there we go. I'll turn up my volume just a little bit. This thing gets pretty loud, I will say. And, um, yeah, I don't want to get copyright strikes, so I'm going to talk over it a lot. Um, like I said, this is my favorite song, so I just want to show you that. But, um, alright. So, let's see. All right, and you just turn it off, you press auto, and you can also put multiple records on those too, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll go into greater detail on a record on another video, maybe a part two. I just don't know if I have the type of time right now. You can do, uh, and, and it also has like a little 45 adapter in there, that black thing, and you can uh, put stack 45s. So let me just put this record away. <sighs> I like to take care of my records, so I'd rather you guys not get, uh, honestly, I mean, I don't mean to be rude, I'd rather some people not get that great of a view than, like, scratch up my record trying to do it one-handed. I know a lot of people do that and it damage the records, so, sorry guys. I, I'm sure you can see me right now, but, yeah, there we go. That. Uh, nice and gentle. Also, a way to keep, take care of your records is don't play them on Crosley's or any really cheap, crappy record player. I don't have too much to fit here anymore. I really need to get more space. There we go. That's close enough. All right, here we are. Back over here. Now, next thing would be 8-track. And, uh, let me just get you an 8-track so we can listen to it. I'm sure some of you don't know what an 8-track looks like. Well, you're about to see one. Alright. And there's, there's no rewinding an 8-track, guys. It's only... Well, this one is, uh, actually fancy enough to have a fast-forward, which most don't. Um, let's see, uh... This... Tape seems like no one's gonna play. Well, I could play. Nah, I don't really care. I'm not gonna play that. There. David Ruffin. Come on. Let's focus. In my stride. Got a little case right there. My friend. One of my friends thought this was a cassette holder, and he has a few cassettes. And he tried to put them in there, and I kept falling out. I was like, oh no, Andre. That's a, uh, um, that's an 8-track holder. So we traded, and now I have this. It's, I like for my 8-tracks. And he gets a nice cassette holder, so. Alright, um, and, oh, listen. There's no play button. Well, there is a pause button, but it's not like a cassette tape. It's just one big loop of tape.
see, there's, uh, well, technically, there's eight tracks, but they're stereo, so they make it four tracks. So there's eight, technically, eight tracks, but four stereo tracks. And here's pause. Fast forward and program. Yeah. And then our A track record, which I'm not going to touch because that would ruin it. Although you have to have the A track out, I believe, but I think sometimes when the systems get old, they can you can press it in just a little bit and it'll start recording over the A track, which I really would not like to happen. That's one disadvantage to 8-tracks. They really don't have a right protect on them. So anyone could possibly r ruin your 8-track. Although, that's why we have cassette tapes. Um, alright, now let's go to Auxiliary. Now technically, Auxiliary really isn't a part of this. But, I'll just give you a very brief demonstration of the two things I have. So I gotta switch this over because I'm gonna play a tape for you. Um, let me see which one was I gonna... All right, this is a, an auto reverse tape player. Now the difference, is, well, well, I really shouldn't go too far into this actually. It, I'm just gonna say it's an auto reverse tape player because I want to have this for another video just to show you guys. So powered on, press play. Now you could actually pr plug your phone in if you had the right adapter, like you could plug it into the back of this. I have done that before, but uh, I just rather plug it into this thing right here, which is just a uh, switch, that's all. Just a switch. See, there you go. And, uh, it's one of, this is one of those tape players that have the, uh, seek ability. So it'll still have that playhead just a little bit on the tape. And you can fast forward. But anyways, and then if I flip it over to my other auxiliary, I have this thing, which you've already got, you guys have already seen. So I just, you know, power it on and wait a minute for it to load up, or, you know, power up. Like that. Yeah, I was listening to this tape and got a little bit weird, but oh well. It's a nice tape, I guess. It has some good songs on it. Someone's recorded this, I'm sure, though, because th normally they didn't release them like this, and it was in a, it was in this case right here, the 3M case, you know. This isn't where my reels normally are, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all for my, uh, uh, that's a basic overview of my, mainly my, uh, head unit right here. But I, I'll have another video on this, and if you haven't seen this video, um, you just go check out my channel, and you can watch it. Or if you're already subscribed, you might have already seen it. And, um, oh yes, I just wanted to let you know, I don't have one speaker. I have another speaker over here, it is stereo. It's just, I'd sit on my bed, over there, and I'd listen to it right about here where my TV is, which I'll probably make a video on that too. And, yeah, right about here, and I'd get the speaker over there, and the speaker over there. Alright. Well, this video's gone on long enough, so bye, guys.